it's impossible to maintain social distance I, during the cyclone. COVID-19 and climate breakdown are global crises that require a global response as we need to build solidarity and community across borders. We move stories from our borders Across the globe, concerns have been raised about the impacts of the pandemic on displaced peoples. As the global community continues to fight the COVID-19 pandemic, heavy rains have been pounding Ethiopia, Kenya and Uganda in East Africa, causing massive flooding, landslides and mudslides. In Kenya, over 237 people have lost their lives and 800,000 people have been displaced. There was a rise in the water levels before the rains at Lake Victoria, so people have had to, dis to be dislocated. Cyclone Amphan hit the coasts of India and Bangladesh, killing dozens, as well as causing heavy damage to houses and crops. It is estimated that 10 million people may be affected and some 500,000 people may have lost their homes. Many of the communities that are currently coping with the COVID-19 pandemic are the same ones that face the hardest impacts of climate breakdown. Many people are worried to move to the cyclone shelters as it is difficult to follow social distancing norms in the shelters and it's impossible to maintain social distance during the cyclone. The climate breakdown is leading to the forced displacement of people. A just recovery from the compound crisis of COVID-19 and climate also includes national governments recognizing the growing issue of climate-induced migration and ensuring that the rights and dignities of those that are displaced are upheld. The international community must invest in building resilience and protecting migrants, ensuring safe and legal passage for people who are displaced by recognizing climate breakdown as a key driver behind migration. The clock is ticking for our planet and our communities. Only by seeing these issues as inherently connected can we rise up to demand a fair and just world. <laughs>